Okay, so number two here, it says uh, fill in the blanks, enter the points. All right, so here we go. So now this one, this time they have the equation in a different form. Let me bring it over here and, and be really clear with it. So, in fact, mm, I don't like that they gave the same number. Here, I'm going to change my example. Uh, I'm going to go like um, minus three minus four. How about I'm just going to change that? Okay. So they they are giving us parentheses. Do, do y'all notice this? The form has parentheses. This is good news. These are easier. So uh, let, in fact, let me just write that. When when you've got parentheses squared, you can find the center like this. You just go right there and you go opposite of that number, which would be plus three, opposite of the number in the parentheses, and same as, oops, same as this number that's outside the parentheses. In other words, three, negative four is the center that quick, boom. No, no x equals negative b over 2a, plugging in, messing around, just boom, boom, opposite same. Boom, boom, you're done. So when, when that's only when there's parentheses squared. If you remember back to example one, back here, uh, notice there were no parentheses. So that's the harder kind when you have to do x is negative b over 2a when there's no parentheses. But um, on this one, there's parentheses. So this is great. When there's parentheses, you just go opposite, same. So opposite of negative three is plus three. Same as negative four is negative four. So three, negative four, that's the center. Let's go find it. Boom, right there. There it is, three, negative four. That's the center of the parabola, the U-shape. And now from here, it's really pretty easy um, now what, what do we do to find to find the next point? Same thing we did before. Find next two points, you know, the two points to make the U-shape from the number in front of the parentheses um, over one as a slope. You know, we do the, the slope trick I told you about. So you go up to the parentheses, you okay, take the number from, well, there's no number in front, right? So that's really a one, huh? And put it over one. So that's your rise and that's your run. So that means we go up one, over one. There it is. And you always go the other way also because it's symmetric. There's our next two dots. Everybody see what I did there? So it's exactly like what we did before. We take the, the number that's in the very front, and if there's no number there, it's the same as a one being there. Why, why is it the same as a one being there? Why couldn't it just be a zero? Well, because that would not be the same. What do I mean it wouldn't be the same? If I put a zero there, zero times those parentheses would be gonzo, right? It would wipe it out. Zero times anything is just zero, it's gone. It's not the same. But if I put a one there, one times those parentheses wouldn't change anything, would it? So I call that plastic surgery. We do that all the time in math and science. We make something look different without being different. We remove the wrinkles without changing who it is. So we, why do we do that weird thing? Because we need a number to be there to find out our rise. So you say, well, what number is the same? What number could I put there? that will make it look different, remove the wrinkles, but it won't change the value, won't change the problem. Well, one, one times those parentheses doesn't change anything. So it's like there's really a one there and then put it over one, rise over run. And then that tells you how to do your U-shape. You go from, from the starting point, go up one, over one, and then you go the same thing the other direction because it's always symmetric. And there is our graph. Um, let me think here for a second. Yeah, there's our graph. Yeah, there's our graph. 
So, and it's going to go, yeah. So I'm just kind of thinking about the rest of the graph in my head. It's going to go like that. And it's going to go like that. Oh, wait a minute. No, it won't. <laughs> I missed those points a little bit. That's not actually true. Um, yeah, let me let me fix that again. That was a little false. When um, what was I going to do? Um, zero is going to be four. It's going to be two plus or minus two. So three plus or minus two. So it's going to be um, it's going to be three. Plus two. So uh, so it's actually yeah. Here, let me let me fix that again. It's going to go like that's going to go through five, and it's going to go through one like that. That's what you would see if you graph that one. Um, okay, so there we go. So the vertex is the three minus four like that. And what's the equation of the axis of symmetry? Well, that's that line that goes right through the middle of the U-shape. So that goes right through the x-axis at three. So that would be x equals three. And that's all they want on this one. They don't want, okay, I was getting all ready to do intercepts and all the other monkey business. They don't want it. That's all they want on that one. Questions on that one? Let me um, switch over to my main screen and, and, and look at this one with you with the child of the tool. So here's a different one. So this one, it's going to be opposite, which would be positive three, and then the same. So the center, see, so you can just look at it, huh? Opposite, opposite of this guy. Opposite of negative three is positive three, and then the same as that guy. So it's gonna be positive three, positive one as the center. So I click on the U shape, positive three, positive one right there, click. And so now I can go up or down, and where do I go? Well, what number's in the very front right up here? Um, right up here is negative one. So I'm gonna go down one, over one, click. See what I did there, because right here, up here, there's just a negative sign. So that's negative one. You put that over one, you treat that like a slope. It's like there's a negative one there, negative one over one. So I went from here, from the center, I went down one over one. There's my U shape. Let me submit it. Watch, it'll take it happily. Yep, it says check mark. That's right. And then the vertex is what? Three, one. Yep. Oh, the problem does it go up or down? It goes down. And what's the equation? It's going to be x equals three. X equals three. So there it is. Switching back over to my iPad connected wirelessly. There we go. And there we go. So I forgot to answer this question right here. Mine went up to finish all the questions. There we go.